Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it's another top 5 video and today we are hopping into highlighters I don't have any special order for these videos I just film what I feel like and this is 5 of my best highlighters A little disclaimer with the lips with the lip sticks um, I talked about there I have tried so many different colors from each brand so I know that the brand is good and all their lipsticks are good I have tried different colors when it comes to highlighters I don't have so many highlights from the same brand so this is more like my five top highlighters not necessarily my top five brands because I don't know how all these brands highlighters are working if all are good or not so just a little disclaimer this is my top five favorites so I got four powder highlighters and one liquid highlighters and I got two palettes so I think we start with the palettes and first up it's a OG highlighter this highlighter like changed the highlight game for the beauty world, for YouTube, for me and it's sleek and this super bad packaging it's so shiny and it's reflecting everything I don't know how to hold it so you not going blind, maybe like this um, so they come out with these and what I can remember it was the first drugstore highlighter that was so blinding not only the packaging <laughs> also the colors so it f I feel like this changed the makeup world a little bit when it comes to highlighters and they are keep releasing this I think if it was this year or last year they released new ones and this is the solstice I don't know if this was the first one but it was one of the first ones and if you missed it it looks like this I don't want to blind you with anything but I think I can hold it like this it looks like this and it's four powders and one cream I don't like the cream and I like all the powders but it's one of these that I super super love and it's this one up here I think it is subsolar but I'm not sure and these highlighters they are so they're pretty cheap but they are so 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 good I can swatch all of the powders they look like this so you see this is my favorite uh, the subsolar first one so as you can see they are very very blinding and keep in mind that this is a drugstore you can't see a shit I love the subsolar shade but all the other shades are really really amazing as well so if you want a cheap highlight and you don't want to have so many highlights i can really recommend this the next palette is also a drugstore favorite and that is strobe of genius from nyx i don't like all the colors in this one i have two colors that i really like i like these big ones out here and this is my absolute favorite of these two this palette is really really good I heard a lot of people talked about it and I thought it's only NYX it can't be that good but the shadows are really 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 creamy and they are so easy to work with and they are really 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 good this one that I like it's not contains so much glitter just a beautiful highlight it this one this is the free on the bottom row and they are just you can see yeah yeah this you can see they are just so so good so that is my favorite it's a very easy going highlighter I think and if you don't like glitter this is a highlight for you then we have the two single highlighters and we can start with the expensive one and that is Ofra I only have one Ofra highlighters I think I will only have one because these are expensive here in Sweden they cost like 
300 Swedish crowns and they are pretty expensive unfortunately but they are really really good and it is a lot of product in this one this is 10 grams and that's a lot I can see I have the other highlighter I have it's only three and a half grams so this is a very big highlight so if you think like that it's maybe not so expensive but when I'm going to use up this big of an highlight but this highlighter if you don't like blinding highlighters um, this is not for you because this is so in your face highlighter it's clay stone that I don't know if I said it it looks like this and this was with Ofra and Nikki tutorials I don't know if there was their first collab or maybe the second collab I don't know how many collabs she has done with Ofra but this one is really really nice and if you want the blinding highlighter buy this and I think they are worth their money but then you have to be really sure you really want it because it's a big manufacturer. Next up we have my all time favorite highlight highlighter. If I only were allowed to have one highlighter it would be this one and I think that says a lot because I really like highlighters. And it's Baby Glow from Nabla. This was the first product I ever tried from Nabla and it's so beautiful. I have it on today. And what I like about this is if you want just a little highlight, maybe for work or something, it's perfect. You get that little glow, but you can also build it up like I have done today. So you can have it like, it's just there, but you can also build it up. And that's why I love it. And it's also vegan. And it's no shimmer in this one. It's just a really pretty. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see it on my cheek. It's no glitter in it, and I don't like chunky highlighters. I have made my decision now. I don't like them. I try to like them, but I don't. And this is not glittery at all. It's so beautiful. When this when I pan this, and I think I'm going to do it, the first highlight ever I will pan, because I love this so much, I absolutely gonna buy another one. So if you want a highlighter that you can use for day to day and also for evening looks and parties and that, buy this, you will not regret it. And the last highlight that it is a liquid highlighter, and the first liquid highlighter I like, I usually don't like liquidy face products except foundation and concealer because I don't really know how to act with them and they don't work with me it feels like they're working against me but this one <laughs> I really love and it's from Wet n Wild it's their Mega Glow Halo Hello Halo and the color is Halo Goodbye it's so hard to say this and this is a liquid highlighter with a uh, Dewy food applicator. And the first time I loved it. The second time I hated it. The third time I love it. And then I have loved it ever since. And what I love about this one. I have used this a lot of a lot this summer. Because I use this. I put on my foundation. And then I put on this. And then I'm ready to go. I don't like to use it with powder. Because then it's. It's not always working with powder, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. So, I only use this when I don't want to set my foundation and only want a little bit extra glow. And it's so, so beautiful. And it's so, so cheap. It looks like this. It seems very much because it is a liquid highlighter but I usually buff it out with my beauty blender and then it just it gives you really nice glow and you can also use this as 
a base for your highlighter so you can put a powder highlighter over it if you want it to be more intense but I like just just it to be there and just give me a little, little glow and then it's perfect for an all day look a natural look just a little bit extra glow so I can really recommend this and this is one of the cheapest highlighters I have and one of the best so that was all for this video so this was my top five highlighters I will leave all the colors and brands and where you can buy them down in my description box if you have a highlighter that you really 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 love I will you can leave it in the comments because it's always fun to find new highlighters but these five I really recommend I love them all so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please press thumbs up and if you're not sus subscribing to my channel do that so you don't miss any one of my videos and I will see you in the next one